music class. It's great to see you here again this week. We're going to start off with some stretches. So can you reach up way up high, like you're reaching for some apples way up in the tree? Pick them. Good job, give yourself a big hug. Copy what I'm doing. Last week, we smelled some really delicious baked goods. Maybe there's something else you really love the scent of. Maybe it's a favorite food your mom or dad makes for you. Maybe it's a flower. Maybe it's a perfume. Who knows? You pick your favorite scent and we're going to breathe it in together and then blow it out like we're blowing on a candle. Ready? Here we go. Remember, we're breathing down in and not just up. Again. Good. Make sure you're doing this with your hands as well. And breathe in. And out. Very good job. We are going to warm up our voice with some of those vocal slides that we did last time. But this time, I have a fox who's running from the woods. And we're going to follow the line he is running from. All right, so we'll start up here. And we're going to follow with our finger and with our voices. Ready? Ooh. Great. Could we try that a little slower? How about faster? Ooh. Great, here's the next one. Ready? Ooh. How about slower? Ooh. And faster. Ooh. Nice. Next one goes like this, normal speed. Ooh. How about slower? Ready? Faster. Woo! And here is our next one. This one looks a little more complicated. Let's try it slow to start this time. Ready? Woo! Very nice. Let's try it again. Same speed, not too fast yet. Ready? Woo! Okay, this time we can try fast. Ready? Good job. All right, here's the next one. Let's try it not too fast to start since we've got another zigzag going. Ready? Oh, that one ends up higher than the last one, right? Let's try that one again. Same speed. Great. Let's try that one fast. Beautiful. All right. Oh, this one looks crazy. We cannot go too fast to start this one. Ready? Nice and slow. I don't know if I can ever do that one fast. Let's try that again slow. I know you want to try it fast, don't you? Okay, let's go. Ready? Did you make it? I barely did. All right, and one more. Oh, this one looks really strange. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Let's try that again. Great. One more time. Fast. 
All right, good job. Will you please be my echo? Beautiful job. Thank you for echoing, for getting your voice ready with me, and I hope you have a wonderful music class this week. Our second verse for Amani Utupe sounds like this. Will you keep a steady beat with me? The road is rocky and the way is dark. Amani Utupe na ustawi. Every road has a different fork. Amani utupe na ustawi. Great. So what you're going to notice is we have different English words, but do our Swahili words change at all? No. The rhythm, the melody, that's all staying the same. We just have to change our English words. So let's learn those. The first sentence says, road is rocky and the way is dark. Good, and when we sing it, it sounds like this. Road is rocky and the way is dark. Can you try that with me? Here we go. Road is rocky and the way is dark. Good again. Ready, go. Road is rocky and the way is dark. And then we sing the part that we know. Amani utupe na ustawi. Good, the next line says every road has a different fork. That means... When you come to a road that goes two ways, that's a fork in the road. There's two choices. There's two different directions you could go. So every road has a different fork, like that, all right? And it sounds like every road has a different fork. Give that a try, ready, go. Every road has a different fork. Amani utupe na ustawi. Great, I think you've got it. Let's try that whole new verse together. One, two, here we go. Road is rocky and the way is dark. Amani utupe na ustawi. Every road has a different fork. Amani utupe na ustawi. Great job, great job. This time while we're singing it to keep the beat, we marked with me. Here we go. Road is rocky and the way is dark. Amani utupe na ustawi. Every road has a different fork. Amani utupe na ustawi. Great. Now we're saying road is rocky and the way is dark. What that means is, is that sometimes our life isn't always easy, right? Sometimes we have a fight with a friend or maybe we don't get a good grade on a test. Somebody didn't play with us at recess today. We have hard times and that's what that line means. Road is rocky and the way is dark. Sometimes we just don't feel very good about things. But in our next line we're saying, but let us have peace and courage, right? Because remember, amani utupe na ustawi means grant us peace, give us courage, which helps to give us a good attitude inside, right? And know that we can handle things. And then the next line says, every road has a different fork. We all have more than one choice. We could choose to do the wrong thing and say mean things about the friend who didn't play with us, or we could just maybe try to make a new friend and make the best of it that day. Or we could see the bad grade on the test and we could be really angry at our teacher 
Or we could go, you know what? I didn't study hard enough. I'm going to study harder next time. So we always have a different choice. We always have the right and the wrong, the good, the bad, the best, the not the best kinds of choices to make, right? So that's what that line is. Every road has a different fork. And then again, we're saying, but give us peace and courage to make those right choices and to do the right things. So let's go back to the very beginning with the music and see if we can try putting verse one and verse two together. Now, after verse two, we have our same chorus part of, grant us peace, give us courage. Amani utupena ustawi, grant us peace, give us courage. Amani utupena ustawi. And we sing that part again. We've already learned it. We are just repeating it after this verse. Okay? So here we go. Let's go back with the music and we're going to keep marching to keep a nice steady beat while we sing.
are not making them look like bears. They're making them look like they have nothing on them. They're bare. They're empty. There's no leaves anywhere on them, right? Because it's autumn and that's what happens in autumn. A lot of times, not always in Texas, but right now I have a neighbor and their very tall oak tree is bare because its leaves have all fallen off. Yeah, they're everywhere right now, but I like it because it reminds me of autumn. Well, great job reading the rhythm pattern. Now, because you guys are being such uh, becoming such awesome music readers, guess what? You could even read all of the notes in this song. Yes, that's right. This song is made up entire, entirely of so's, la's, me's, and do's. So let's get it up here. And will you please help me read through all of the pitches? So remember our top space is so and then we move to the same note again so and then one more so and then we're stepping up to the next line la and then we're going to step back down so and then we have to skip down to do you know what it is me good job so that whole first line together is so, 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 la, so, me. Let's figure out the second line. So, we start again, and then again sing, so, and then again one more time. So, step up to, la, and then step back down to, so. So now line two all together is, so, 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 la, so. Does this line look familiar? It's just like the first one. Let's see if we can sing it together. So, 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 la, so, me. And now our last line, we see our so's at the beginning. We see that we step down to me. And then, do you remember what that very bottom note that sits below the bottom line is called? That's right, that's do. So let's try singing through our final line. So, so, mi, mi, do. I love this last line because we can see how so, mi, and do are all space notes. There's not a line going through the middle of them. 
great job helping to figure out the notes on the staff and sing through those with me. Now that we know our song pretty well, we maybe need to work on some of the real words a little bit, but you know it pretty well. We're going to sing our song, and in between singing our song, we're going to echo some so, la, mi, and do patterns, okay? So here we go. Sing the song with me. Ready, sing. Little leaves are falling, falling everywhere, making all the tall trees look so very bare. Be my echo. So, la, so, mi, do. Do mi, do mi so. Song. Little leaves are falling, falling everywhere, making all the tall trees look so very bare. So la, so so la. La so mi do do. Little leaves are falling, falling everywhere, making all the tall trees look so very bare. Do me, do do me, do me so la so. Last time on the song. Little leaves are falling, falling everywhere, making all the tall trees look so very bare. Wow! We packed a lot into that song. You helped read the notes on the staff. You helped read the rhythm. You knew how to read the whole thing. You were echoing extra patterns in between singing the song with me and keeping a steady beat. Man, y'all are champions. This is so fabulous. Way to go. Great job on Little Leaves Are Falling. If you think I'm being over the top, I'm not, because that's all not easy stuff to do, and you're doing a great job. Help me review our Charlie Charlie song. Ready, sing. Charlie, Charlie, in the tub. Charlie, Charlie, pulled the plug. Oh my goodness, oh my soul, there goes Charlie down the hole. Great. This time, will you help me show the direction of the notes again on your body? So our highest note's going to be here, starting up here. Ready, sing. Charlie, Charlie, in the tub. Charlie, Charlie, pull the plug. Oh my goodness, oh my soul. There goes Charlie down the hole. Yeah, at the end, we have this note that we haven't touched anywhere else the entire song. Well, we're going to learn about that note today, but let's figure out the first part of the song before we even get there. We'll go line by line. So when we sing our very first line, which is, Charlie, Charlie, in the tub, we're starting on not the highest note that we know, but the next highest note. We're starting on a so. Charlie. So if we're putting so in this top space, what would the next note be if this is so? Charlie, Charlie. Are we going higher or lower than our so? Charlie, Charlie. Yes, we are going lower. We are going down to me. So, so, me, me. So when we go back to Charlie, Charlie, in the tub. We're singing. Will you sing it with me? So, so, me, me. So, so, me. Very good. And here it is on the staff. So let's practice our Charlie, Charlie, in the tub, reading our notes on the staff. Ready, sing. So, so, me, me. So, so, me. Very good. Let's look at our next line. Charlie, Charlie, pull the plug. What do you notice? Charlie, Charlie, pull the plug. Which one do we start on? So or me? So or me, Charlie. We're back on so. That's right. Charlie, Charlie would be what? Me, me, pull the, good, back up to so, pull the, so, so, and then plug, me, back down to me. So we're still singing just
just our so's and me's there, right? Let's try that line. Here we go. So, so, me, me, so, so, me. Good. What have you noticed about our first two lines? They're the same, right? Very good. Our third line is, oh, my goodness, oh, my soul. And what did you notice there? It's also the same. It's another line of, so, so, me, me, so, so, me. But here's our last line. Will you show me on your body again? There goes Charlie down the hole. Let's try that again. Ready, go. There goes Charlie down the hole. Yeah, so there goes would be what kind of note? A so or me. There goes. So, so, good. There goes Charlie. Would be me, me, good. So we have so, so, me, me, down. Returns back to so, the, good would be a me. So down the, or so, me. And now here's our new note for whole. Because whole is lower than so or me. It goes down here on the bottom below that bottom line. And we call that note Do. Can you please show me the hand sign and sing Do for me? Do. Good. Now let's sing our last three notes that go So, me, Do. Ready, go. So, me, Do. Great. And that's down the hole. Try it. Down the hole. Great. So what you're going to notice about the hand signs is that our so was up here, our me was kind of in the middle, and our do is even lower. That's important. If we all show everything up here, it doesn't really show us the relationships between the pitch, how so is higher than me, and me is higher than do. So that's really important when you're singing with your hand signs with me. Let's try that last line on the staff and with our hand signs. Ready? Here we go. So, so, me, me, so, me, do. Yeah, very good. Now, will you please echo me just singing some hand signs and practicing with our new do? So, me, so, me, do. Do, me, do, do. Do, me, so, la, so. So, la, so, so, me, do. Do, me, do, me, so. So, Great job. Now we're going to do just a few patterns reviewing our do, me, and so, and la on the staff so you can practice recognizing what that looks like too. Here we go. Do, do, me, me. Ready again. Good. Here's the next one. Sing me, so, me, do. Ready, your turn. Here we go. Good, here we go again. Do, me, so, so. Your turn. Ready, go. Good, here's the next one. Sing so, la, so, me, do. Good, last one, here we go. Do, me, so, do. Good, your turn, here we go. Very good job singing along with me and trying it on your own. Great, 
boys and girls, I have a song for you today, and it has to do with this animal right here. Give you a couple of clues. It it slithers on the ground. It's poisonous. You can hear it from far away. It makes a sound, kind of like a baby would. Any ideas what this is? If you said it was a rattlesnake, you are correct. These are poisonous, but they usually only will bite if they're attacking their prey for food or if they are threatened, meaning that they are close to being hurt. So make sure that if you see this, you go away from it. Or if you are hearing it, make sure that you're going away from it. So. We have a song up here today. It has some rhythms that we know. I'm going to zoom in so we can see it a little bit better. So, we have taws and taws in this. That's all. Let's see if we can clap and say this. One, two, ready, and go. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Let me do it one more time while we are doing it. Clap and say, and I'll point where we're at. Because it's easy to get lost, especially down here. One, two, ready, and go. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. All right, so now that we have that down, I am noticing that I have some notes here that are a step apart. Do you remember what our two notes are that we had that were a step apart? If you said so in law, you're absolutely correct, and it is marked over here too. We have so and la, and then we have so, and it's going down a skip. So what would be a skip lower than so? You're right, it's a me. So if we look here, we have a la to a me. That's leaving out this so that we're used to having. So don't let that mess you up today. We're going to go, la, me, when we get there. Can you do that with me? La, me, la, me. So love me. All right, so let's see. We have that pattern right there. And then we have it repeated again here. And then we have some different patterns. But you notice that we stay on this so for a little bit. We're going to go up. And then we have had this pattern before. So love, so me. And then we're going to stay right there on that me. We're not going to go back up. Don't let that trick you. So let's see. Can you do this pattern for me? Ready and go. So love me. Can you repeat that pattern? Ready and go. Can you put both those together? Here we go. Ready and go. So it should have sounded like this. Check and see if it did. So love me. So love me. Did it sound like that? Okay, let's see. Can you do this next part without my help? So is where we're starting. Ready, and go. Can you do that part? Ready, and go. Mr. Weed's hand doing the wrong thing. Sorry. Let's try. Ready and go. Can you stay right there on that so? Let's see. It should sound like this. So, 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 so. Did it sound like that when you did it? Can you add those two measures in? We're going to go from the beginning all the way to the K right here. Ready and go. So love me, 
so love me so 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 can you do this part ready and go so did your sound like this so la so me can we try it all the way that far ready and go so la me So it should have sounded like this. Check and see if yours did. So la me, so la me, so 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 la so me. Now we're just gonna have to add on this last me. So la so me me. Can you do that? Starting at the E. Ready and go. All the way from the beginning with our so fetch, our so's laws and me's. Ready, I go, so. Did your sound like this? So, la, me, so, la, me. So, 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 la, so, me, me. Did your sound like that? If not, work on it. Okay. Then we have to add in our words. And R-A-T-T-L-E-S-N-A-K-E. -E. What's that spell? Rattlesnake. And then we have to end with Spells rattle snake. So here we go. R ready and go. R A T T L E S N A K E spells rattle snake. Can you do that without me? Ready and go. All right, once you have that down, keep working on that. Make sure you have it down really good. We're going to play a game with it here as well. So keeping our beat, doing it on our desk, pretending like we're tapping on our computer. Ready, I go. R-A-T-T-L-E-S-N-A-K-E. Spells rattlesnake. So I wanted you to practice on your desk because when we come over to the rattlesnake game, we're going to have this right here. And it's just like our pumpkin uh, game where we have to select which arrow we're going to go to first. So I might want to, I have to be in present mode for this to work. And then I'm going to come here, I'm going to tap on the arrow. And then I'm going to be ready to start. So it's going to go. R ready and go. R A T T L E S N A K E spells rattlesnake. And I should be right here. And I should click on that snake. Oh, I have a rhythm I have to read. See if you can read that. One, two, ready, go. Ta. Uh, uh. All right, then, down here in the bottom corner, we have Return to Snake Pit. A snake pit is a place where there's a bunch of snakes. So we're going to go back to where there's a bunch of snakes. Oh, let's try this one. Ready, uh, ready and go. R-A-T-T-L-E S-N-A-K-E spells rattlesnake. Should be right here. Let's click on it. Oh, there's my next one. Let's see. One, two, clap and say. Ta, 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 ta
toddy toddy. Return to that snake pit. Choose a different snake to start on. Go right here this time, maybe. One, two, ready, go. R A T T L E S, -S N A K E Bell's Rattlesnake. Well, I should end right here on this one. Click on that snake. Oh, we have this one. One, two, ready, go. Ta, ta. All right. Go ahead and continue playing and learn working on those rhythms, those half notes. Have fun. Bye.